Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this card. This is the beautiful new stargazing stamp set, which as soon as I saw it in the catalogue, I thought, oh, I've got to have that, and I love it. So I'm going to show you how to make this card, but I'm going to cut it completely for you so you can get an idea of how I work my layers. Okay, so I'm going... So this one was Melon Mambo with Purple Posy. This time around, I'm going with Cherry Cobbler and Seaside Spray. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my piece of cardstock in half and then I'm going to score it in half. Don't worry about the measurements, just sort of listen to really more what I'm saying than um, actually any measurements or anything like that. So that's my base card. And then this one I'm going to cut. I'm taking two centimetres off the width and the length of this card to get my layer there and then this one's going to be two and a half okay then that will get my layer to go over the front now you can see I've got another panel going across and it depends on what you want to say I'm going to put never stop stargazing on this one so I want to quickly measure up so that's two and a half centimetres here so 2.5 then I'm going to make this one three centimetres so what I'm going to end up with so when that layers over this panel is exactly the same width as the outer blue and then this one is exactly the same width as the inner white. So I've not cut any more away. I'm left with loads and loads of cardstock. So when you're making layered cards, it's really, there's no science to it. Or cards with layers, I should say. There's no science to it. It's just cutting and having fun and playing. So, okay, I've got, because Seaside Spray is an in colour, I've got some ribbon in the matching ink colour, but I only really want that little edge to show. So I'm going to find my snail that was right there and is now not. Off to one side. I'm going to run snail all the way along the edge. And have this line up along the edge. I don't really want the burlap colour showing, I just want the seaside spray. Okay, so that's that bit done. Let's do some stamping. So, here's my cherry cobbler and my seaside spray. First thing I want to do is put my big splat, my big star, or constellation, I don't know, that, in the background. So that's coming in with seaside spray. how much that would come out because this is a distinctive stamp Oops. so I'm just going across there so that's all I'm doing with the seaside spray on this piece but I want my little stars there's this other little constellation here actually I need to stamp this bit first so this is the, the phrase Just, I want to make sure it's lined up, so I'm using my block and my grid paper. Come in with cherry cobbler. I line up my paper on my grid paper and come into the centre. Never stop stargazing. Come in with these lovely spray of stars just around the edge. That one's now done. And with the cherry cobbler, I'm coming with this swirl here and I'm gonna stamp it off, but I'm actually gonna test it on my grid paper first to see just how dark it goes. 
So that's very dark. That's quite pale. That's paler still. And I think I actually want those two. I don't really want this super dark one. So I'm going to stamp it off once. Come across there. Come in down the bottom. And now I can start layering everything up. So. These colours, I wouldn't normally have put them together, but I like subtles with darker colours. They just, when it's nice and rich. And as I said before, that perfectly fits across there. Oops. And then to finish, in colour embellishments, and I'm going to take the smallest ones in the seaside spray. Have one there, one there, one there. And all I need to do now is finish my crease. Hard made. What do you think? So easy. Lots of impact. If you can dream it, you can do it. Never stop stargazing. Love them. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.